to hear the paracord between that when it's in the paracord in here, a little bit of that to connect to the air. It's going to go up the top anyway. It's going to slide that, that insulator once you've uh, got it tied to that. You let it slide right up the top anyway. Again. It's just holding on. Oh, I'm not going now. Really? <laughs> on, on the little branch, and it's, it's not... You know what I mean, though, don't you? If it was up the end, I'd be trying to get But it's not... You know, up the trunk end, but it's not... You go around, Nigel. Oh, oh, yeah. How that stays there, I don't know, but it does. You don't understand what I'm saying. No, I didn't say it, Dave, for you to come over. I just said it, you know, it's still hanging there, sort of thing. Oh, yeah. No, you go back to it. But it's such a good area, and I don't care if it goes through the other tree, really. I don't care. I mean, it, it doesn't seem to make much difference. The judgment for not cutting that it's, dial. It's, it's going through yeah. at the moment. Radio bit, um, It doesn't seem to make much difference going through that other tree. So I don't care. If he really. stops talking. But, you know, it's not as long as you get it held, yeah, you know, that, you know. that's okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad I've got my foot switch going. I'll tell you what, Nige, I'm listening on that Stafford. The one that uh, Gareth listens on, Stafford. Um, so he's listening to you talking over him. Tell you what, what a lovely it. No, it is when he keys up, man. Everyone, uh, at the same, more or less the same age on town now. Really, I mean, obviously some people are clearer than others because they're putting out more, more like you are, and you've got it set up right. And Dave's quite nice, but I mean, I can hear everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it, it's well, with only West uh, one and uh, all on his end. We had a little bloody everyone. We had a little bloody We said you're, you're doing all that down your garden, getting another aerial up, putting something up, another set there. Got 300 foot up right now on the end, Fred. You're doing all that. Go on. Oh, very nice. And in the end, he did. Because he's got a phone in his pocket, his little smartphone with a pair of headphones on. And uh, we both talked to him, and he couldn't hear anything. 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 Wow! BBC quality! He only talks a lot when you come on the day. He loves it. Yeah, but you've got to you, Dave. He got it. You've got it. He's made up. Last couple of nights, Dave, but you've hardly heard it. I'll put it back to you, Nigel. Why can't you listen on your own radio? I thought you were on our desk for the noise on that, Mikey. You should hear us all on that, no problem. Yeah. I do, I can, and I do, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I do. The art is just, you know. No, you're crying a minute. Uh, I can hear everyone on my, well, not everyone, of course I can't, but I can hear most people on my radio. I don't have to use the SDR tonight, but I'm using it because uh, I want to get it set up so that, um, you know, I, it's, I've never heard anything so such good quality, and because I've got good speakers with my computer, so mm. it's coming over like uh, BBC, over. Hey, oh, Mikey. I thought you had the, the top of the range Kenwood there, 950 SD. I thought that was supposed to be brilliant, Mister Ned. So you know, the, the, the computer shouldn't be no better than. In fact, your radio should be better. I'll tell you what, my bloody Kenwood 850 is too sensitive. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it is, but um, uh, it's just uh, good to do. You know, you can hear even the, even the smallest signal, you can hear things that wouldn't even be able to hear. Actually, what I should have done... I've just got to go and tell him something, actually. Every time a little signal come up, I would have said, hey, there's someone calling in, and then... You know, is he listening on it now? Me. It's good. But, uh, no, he must be able to hear. And, uh, and uh, Gareth listens on it, too. Um, and uh, they, 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 they must have a damn good aerial up there. Uh, I'm not, not seeing the signal go wrong. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike, uh, so what I was trying to say, um, uh, that's um, plastic-coated steel. What you want to do is have that going over the far end tree where it broke off. And um, tied off at the bottom or wherever at the tree, coming over the top of the tree and out of it. Um, and where you connect your aerial, usually to the paracord, just put a short length of paracord between the um, the, the uh, steel stuff and the aerial. That's all I meant. 
Um, and so that will last, well, it'll last you out. I'll tell you that. It's so good, that stuff. Another one I just found today, um, uh, Mike, is the RSGV one. I think it's in Potter's Bar. Um, that's another restaurant. Evening, and uh, it's pretty. Hey, brilliant! Uh, that is fantastic. I'll have to look, look out for that one. But you know, uh, things are. Um, yeah, it's not the far end, um, Nige. It's this end, right outside the window where it goes up. Same thing. It goes up. Uh, Forty-five, fifty foot. It's there. The far end one's okay because that's right down in the. In the um, what do you call it now? Right down in the in the heart of the tree, sort of thing. Uh, that 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 hasn't gone. It's this one where you know when it's really windy. It's this one that gets it. The bottom one doesn't because there's a house in the way anyway, so it don't get much wind because it's right by Barbara's house, Dave. So it don't get any wind at all. It's this one that gets all the wind. Uh, yes, okay, nice. Well, well uh, I'll have a look for that other so. one, SDR. But that Stafford one is, is wow, blimey. <laughs> it's absolutely superb, over. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, do it the um, the end that came down then. Do it there with the steel stuff. And then put a bit of paracord with some sort of, um, um, you know those things used for mountain climbing, those little clip things that are really, um, well, they're like little loops. You know what I mean? They've got a little clip that you can clip it in. Um, that's what I use. I use those. They're really, really useful. So you use the steel from the end where it snapped, going over the tree, uh, a small section of paracord uh, with one of those uh, loop things, those steel loop things. They're really smooth. You can actually pull really nicely through. That's really smooth. And that's the way I would do it. Yeah, I left in one. That's the way I do it, yeah. Norwich. Uh, that's why I've done the bottom one. Carabinian hooks, they're called. And uh, then you pull it tight, and you... you Crack, I use a toothbrush handle. So <laughs> He's a bomb brush handle. And then I Been up bloody eight years. in the tree, a large screw eye. And, uh, and uh, that, that's what I use, Nice. And then you can... On some of those, you got it, no. push a thing up and screw it up. That's he has, but he's just, uh, um, he's just yeah, not got it. it. I, I think <laughs> he's in his own little world tonight. Back on it, spring. In the oil. Yeah, they're good. In nice Mikey's they world. Yeah, I'll get some of that stuff then. The world of Mikey. It comes over, I'll have it all. Uh, that's really good. Um, I, see, the only other stuff I've seen is that um, Kevlar cord. Kevlar. But, um, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what it was. And that what paracord is? Through the paracord. No. No. Mm. Uh, I got Kevlar. I'm going to be a little bit careful, but... As I say, you know, got garden string. I might put a bit of paracord at the top because that would stop it interacting then, wouldn't it, with the aerial. That would stop it interacting with uh, metal in it. But another thing I did think of doing was if I'd have had um, aerial wire, the same as my aerial, because it's ever so thick. The aerial is a <laughs> like thick or four mil thick. If I'd have had some of that, that wouldn't have happened. Because, uh, Mikey, to the you know, that's, uh, all of them. Stranded. Six stranded. Oh, you joking. Um, okay. <laughs> that would have done. I wish I'd have done that now. <laughs> Son, oh, I think you're There you are. You live and learn. Uh, no, each other. Yeah, you'll be all right, mate. You'll be all right, Dave, sir. Master antenna builder. But, uh, yeah, it'll be great, that, you know. But that steel, plastic coated steel over the top of the tree there. Um, four or five foot of paracord. And one of those um, thingy connectors, you know, that would, you know, whatever you call them, to clip things on there. If you want to connect that stuff together, that steel, if you need more, two lots of it, um, what I do is I just loop it around and uh, a couple of cabled, small cable tyres um, or those metal, those little metal U things that you can tighten up uh, with a couple of nuts and bolts to them, those little tiny things, and then just cover the whole thing with self-amalgamating tape so it doesn't get caught up or anything. Um, yeah, you, you're sold it. Dave knows. He's, right, I'm going to make a cup of tea. You can talk about me while I'm gone. G7, G, Zeddy. Okay, Nigel.
Yeah, yeah. just what I've um, sussed out, you know, over the years, that end had stayed up apart from the weight of that bloody ice, you know? And it snapped um, in a solder joint, and I had to go up with a blowtorch to because it was so cold, and I fixed it. Um, the whole field was covered in ice and snow, and the only way I could um, get it joined back together again is um, with a little blowtorch and uh, then self-amalgamating tape over it. Um, and that, that seems to have cured it. But I've got 1.5 mil wire. But flipping hell, the weight of that ice was ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Even in that time, when we had about three or four foot of snow here, the aerials they didn't have any on at all. But because it rained and then it froze, um, Jesus, I, oh, it's unbelievable. Right, back in a minute. Okay, back to you, Dave. Mike Zero, TKO. Here's Gareth around you there, Gareth. Oh, Gareth. Very strange. Chase, you know, is it, you know, is it rocket science or cuz? I don't know, I was listening the other night and it was, the band was really bad and my antenna was on the floor and I could hear everyone when everyone was struggling to hear each other so I didn't actually call in but I couldn't work out what was going on. God. So the same antenna as everyone else I'm assuming. Well, hey Jay, I'll tell you a little story Jason, 10 years ago people struggled to be less than 20 over 9, right? Less. Nowadays they struggle to get to 20 over. I remember the days when you wouldn't talk to anyone who weren't 20. Jase? Yes, yes. Who then is in a Darren? Uh, uh, he's in New Zealand. He's moved to New Zealand. Oh, along with my sockets and plugs, I guess. Oh, you, he's gone away with his missus. She, uh, I'll tell you the story. It's a comedy say on it. Yeah, yeah. I have to tell you, uh, are you got Skype or anything under your call signs? Uh, no, I don't. I, I don't Skype at all, mate. Alright, well, he, he was, uh, well, he can't really hear, can he? Um, all I know is, uh, she kind of, uh, didn't like the radio too much and, uh, kicked him out of the house and sold a lot of his gear. I sent him 100 quid for some plugs, Dave, to us ever see that again. Uh, well, I can get in contact with him, I suppose. Well, if you do speak with him, just remind him I'm still around. Oh, of course. Yeah, he's got well away from her. Hey. Here, Colin. Hang on, my phones are going. All right, tell us your secret in a minute. A bit drastic, though, isn't it? Going all the way to New Zealand. They keep it, they got a hitman, wasn't they? <laughs> <laughs> you might have done both. You never know. Oh, 
Не малая получается там, ну, скажем, если ну, примеры там, по-моему, где-то пикофарат, наверное, 15. Ну, вот у тебя получается контур такой. Ну, в школу, короче, ну, где ты не снимешь ту мощь, что снимешь на большом рое, которую ты имеешь э, на нижних бендах. Это так теоретически э, точно, абсолютно, тут ну, не вызывает никаких сомнений, Руслантик. Микрофон тебя. Contest. 